As you can see, all the soft tissue has now been stripped away from the insertion of the plantar fascia, where it inserts in the bottom of the calcaneus. This is the heel bone or calcaneus right here. And we've started a small nip in that area. And you can see with the scissors, right between that and the muscle belly, you can actually release it. So there you go. Once we release this all the way across, and this area is free to move forward, you can see the muscle belly right below it, right here. In fact, that is probably what we'll release partially afterwards. As for the heel spur itself, I'm gonna release part of this tag of the plantar fascia right here at the heel, and then use a reciprocating rasp to take the spur down. Here's a small piece of the plantar fascia that I've removed that was connected to the bone to reveal the bone spur so I can file it down. And of course, enough piece, enough of it removed so it won't reattach. Finished product. Wonderful. Voila. Since this is a weight bearing incision, I like to place something uh, in there that's kind of a thicker nylon. You can't do real absorbables in these, but uh, something called a horizontal mattress stitch will evert the edges. So it'll put tension on the side of the incision, but not at the uh, middle. Like the regular baseball stitch, sometimes the edges can kind of pull underneath, but not with this type of stitch, which is designed to spread the edges out. So as you can see, I'll pooch those edges up like a fin and take the uh, tension off the middle. It'll heal a little bit easier. And if the patient steps down, it allows for spreading of the skin. So she's all done. We're gonna put a dressing on here after I put some local anesthesia in there to keep her numb today. And again, uh, she's got a few pain medications at the office uh, that she picked up and some antibiotics. And uh, no more heel spur plantar fasciitis. Mm -hmm.